In this video, I am going to show you how to detach from other people's energy as an empath or as a sensitive person. If you pick up on other people's energies a lot, if you're not even aware that you do this, but you feel drained, you feel overwhelmed, you feel so tired after hanging out with certain people, if you feel like you need to recharge a lot on your own, that's certainly because you haven't learned how to detach your energy from other people's energy yet. As an empath, this can be especially challenging because we are tuned into the external for survival. We have developed this ability to tune into other people, to tune into their energy, to read other people in order to feel safe. Because somewhere along our childhood, we have learned that it is not safe to be ourselves. And so we must lean into other people's energy to read them in order to make our environment more safe. So that has become an autopilot. And as a result, we go through life holding on to other people's energy in our own energy field. So imagine that you have this big energy field that extends around you. And in this bubble, in this energy field, you probably have some cords with other people, energetic cords that attach you to someone else. And we can have so many of them. We can have them with our parents, with our family members, with people we sleep with, with people we have relationships with, with our friends, whoever it is. If we still hold on to that energy or if that cord hasn't been cut, then we can feel so drained and we can feel like we're not ourselves anymore or we're lost in a sense. We, we lose our center. It's easy for empaths to lose our center because we're so used to make someone else our center, make someone else our source of, uh, of energy or our source of validation or confidence or whatever it is that you're outsourcing. The key here is to understand that it is safe to be you. It is safe to have your energy inside of your body. And it is completely okay to cut any cord with anyone that doesn't serve you. You can have cords that are more positive than others. For example, you can have cords that are just made of pure unconditional love. And you can have cords that are more of a toxic attachment or a codependency and you don't want to keep that in your energy field because that is draining you that is leaking your energy out of your body and out of that energy field that you have so as an empath it's very powerful to learn how to manage your energy and how to protect that energy field so that you're in control of your own energy you need to understand that it's not necessary anymore to project your awareness around you to read your environment that is called hyper vigilance and that puts you in a very stressful mode it puts you in survival if you look around you right now wherever you are in your room in your house are you safe? Do you have everything that you need? Do you have a bed to sleep on? Do you have hot water to take a shower? Do you have water to drink? Do you have a job? Is money coming in into your life? Because most of the times the body is in autopilot. It senses that there is a threat, but there is not. Most of my life I was in hypervigilance and I am still recovering from that in the sense of I am still noticing, oh, I feel tense right now but I am safe, my environment is safe. Pay attention. The first thing is pay attention to, is your body tense right now? Is your body contracted? If you feel like your shoulders are here, just try to relax your shoulders, relax your back, relax your jaw, relax your throat as well. Make sure that your throat is open. That is instantly going to put your body in a more relaxed state and you're bringing that awareness back inside of you because this is what we want. We want you to focus on you, not on what everybody else is doing and how everybody else is acting so you can react. No, you're not reacting to other people. Right now you are observing how you feel in your body and if there is any sign of tension, if there is any sign of um, contraction, let yourself relax in this present moment. You're safe. Everything's good around you. Okay, you're safe. I am safe. I am safe. Repeat this to yourself. I am safe. I can relax. I am safe. I can relax. Take a few deep breaths. In and out. And feel how with each deep breath, your body 
can relax more and more because you're allowing it to. Sometimes our default is stress and survival and it's not the case. It is not the case right now. So take another deep breath in and out. And feel how relaxed you are right now compared to a few minutes before when we started this video. Understand that it is safe to be you. It is safe to bring your energy back into your body. It is safe to bring your awareness back into your body. And it is safe to be relaxed no matter what. The other day I was on a plane. It was a two hour flight. And what I love to do on planes, because there is a lot of people around me, you know, airports are overwhelming for so many people. It's stressful. I have so many tips, by the way, to, as an empath, as a sensitive person, how to travel. Probably I'll do a video on that. When I travel, I love to practice bringing my awareness back into my body at all times and being centered in my energy and being relaxed no matter what's around me so in this specific flight there were a few couples with four or five babies inside of the plane and the babies were crying and the couples were trying to figure it out and it was very noisy it was not a calm flight at all so i had my meditation music on i normally do either classic music or just binaural beats or something that really calms my mind and i entered in a meditative state and i just stayed there and i practiced not being affected by other people's energy and so this works when you're around other people because if you're alone in your house well it's easy to say I bring all my energy back into my body because you're by yourself. But when you're surrounded with other people on a train, on a plane, somewhere where you can't really escape, it is good to practice in those moments feeling calm and relaxed and relaxing your body just as we did, just taking a few deep breaths and saying, I am safe right now inside of my body, inside of my energy. It is safe to be me. It is safe for me to relax and go ahead and just Feel that energy being inside of your body for the whole duration of whatever it is that you're doing if you're in the street protesting if you are at a concert if you're inside of a plane you can use these techniques by the way i have another video on how to cleanse and protect your energy as an empath where i share a bunch of techniques to really clear your energy and build this protective shield around you go watch that video if you haven't watched that video yet it is really important that you notice where your energy is at any given moment you can ask yourself where is my energy right now is my energy in someone else am i thinking about someone else am i thinking about work is it in the past in the future where is my energy right now practice noticing when your energy is outside of your body and bringing it back to yourself and you can say you can declare and affirm i call and claim all my energy back to me now I call and claim all my energy back to me now. And as you were saying this, you can feel all of your energy getting back to yourself, to your center. You can practice this wherever you are, at the restaurant, inside of your car, when you're in line waiting for something. Practice bringing all your energy back to yourself and you will see how other people react to you. It's so different. It is so different when you're projecting your energy than when you're just inside of your own frame because that's usually very attractive people come talk to you and people say hello and and people just smile at you so get used also to being in contact with other people and that being absolutely normal you can feel when someone is inside of their energy and they're comfortable in their energy that will make you feel confident as well if you're an empath or a sensitive person and you're a little bit shy you don't want to be in contact with other people you're scared of being in contact with other people listen as long as you bring your energy back inside your body and you practice feeling safe and relaxed that is going to protect you from anything that's going on. And this is a way for you to take control back on your own energy. Because if there's a threat, if there's something going on that you need to be aware of, then you will know. You will know because your senses are on, you're active. But it doesn't mean that you have to be activated all the time. Trust yourself more in the sense that you will know when there is something that you need to become aware of and then you can react but in this present moment right now you are fine you are safe you can relax you're good cutting cords specifically is so important 
important because you will notice a massive difference when you do so. When you decide to cut all the cords from every dimension in every timeline, then your energy field is clear and you have much more space, much more capacity. You can process your emotions much better. You will feel much fuller of energy. It will just make you recharge a lot faster when you're not tied to other people. It's safe to cut the cords. It is safe. When you cut the cord with someone, it's on an energetic level. They might feel it and you might feel it too. And it is safe to do so because you are the master of your own energy. You are in control of your energetic field and you do not need any cord with anyone to be safe. You don't need any attachment to be safe. I'm going to give you a guide to cut the cords. The goal here is that you find your own practice and you find what works for you. So for me, what works to cut a cord with someone is thinking about that person, imagining a cord going from my heart to their heart, an energetic cord made of light. And I say, I declare, I now cut cords with this person in every dimension and every timeline. I bring back all my energy back to me now and I send all energy that doesn't belong to me back to source. Then you can physically do the act of cutting the cord like this. You take your hands, go above your head and you cut the cords. You can do this many times. You can feel around your body how the cords get cut. You can feel the difference if you do this one time, but you probably need to do this a few times in order to completely clear the energy between you and this person. There is also an exercise that I like to do from this. I think he's a psychologist. Don't quote me on this. He's called Jacques Martel. He's Canadian from Quebec. And he has this method to cut cords. That is that you draw yourself like a little drawing of you and of the other person and you're going to draw all the cords from all the seven chakras between you and that person so little you the other person the cords in between and then with the scissors you come and you cut the cord whatever makes you feel like your energy is cleared out from that person it can be using your hands it can be declaring that you send all energy that doesn't belong to you back to source it can be declaring i am my own source of energy i am my own source of energy and as you say that you can feel in your heart how your energy starts to expand and how your own energy source starts to expand to all your energy field because this is the truth you are your own source of energy other people can't be your source of energy of confidence of validation this is doing a disservice to yourself because you are your own source of energy it's within you it's always been within you but for some reason you didn't feel safe to do this before and now it's the moment now it's the time to exercise and to practice being in your own energy and understanding that you give energy to yourself nobody is the source of you you are the source of you it's so easy for us empaths to care about people to make sure that they're well, to make sure that they feel good and to be there for them and to listen. However, when we want to detach from someone else, it's necessary to focus on ourselves, on our character, on being an individual. And that is not bad, that is not selfish, that is just being a human being on your soul's path. Nobody is like you, you're completely unique and you must follow your own path. Sometimes I cared a lot for other people and I was very present in their lives as a way not to focus on my own life and on my own things. It was so easy to me to lose my center because I used to put other people above me so that I didn't have to focus on me, so that I didn't have to face the issues that I needed to face. So the more you focus on you, the more you work on getting your energy back to your center and on filling your own cup and on meeting your own needs as an empath as a sensitive person this is going to change your life because the truth is you don't need no one to be safe you just need you and you can count on you because you're a reliable person as a result of course other people are going to come and rely on you as well but the person that you need the most is you and you can give from an empty cup you must fill your cup first and recharge your energy and how do you do that making sure that your energy is inside your energy field 
bringing your awareness back inside of your body, declaring that you are your own source of energy, and cutting the cords and attachments that are not necessary and that are not good for your well-being. I hope that this video served you in some sort of way. Leave a comment below. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to like this video. And I will see you in the next one.